Hey everyone, Jeff here at Tidy Bytes. Welcome to Tasks Month of Tidy24. I have a question for you. Do you feel like you have enough time to do everything you want to do? Don't worry, that was a rhetorical question. I know the answer is no, because uh, it's basically no, no matter who you are. Tidy Bytes has always been focused on data organization as opposed to something like productivity or time management. But after going through the last couple of months where we focused on email and then photos, you're probably feeling how challenging it is to make time to do the things that you know you need to do, even if you know what to do and how to do it. So I thought it was worth spending a few weeks digging into some techniques that can help you learn how to manage your time in a way that will lead you towards having an organized digital life. I'm not trying to turn this into a productivity or a time management course that is well outside the scope of what I want to do, but instead just provide some tips and hints and ideas that might change how you think about your time commitments in a way that makes it easier to do more of what you really care about. That's something I work on a lot myself, and it's critical in order to find or rather make the time you need to take a large project like digital organization and break it apart into tasks that you can do regularly a little bit at a time. Now, I'm going to tell you the secret right up front because, well, it's not actually a secret. This is not my idea. It's not new to the productivity space. It's pretty basic, but it's hard to execute well. So here's the idea. You need to do less of what doesn't matter and focus only on what does matter. See, I told you it wasn't a mind-blowing new idea. But the challenge here is not in understanding that idea, it's in managing to actually do it. So what I want you to do for week one of Tasks Month is clarify your commitments. And by that, all I mean is get a really good handle on where your time is going. What have you been doing? What do you want to be doing? Understand where you're spending your time. So what are the action steps for this week? Well, there are four of them. First, I want you to consider the last week or a few weeks, if you know that much, and think about everything that you have accomplished and wanted to, but maybe didn't get to accomplish. That means appointments that you went to, tasks that you got done, um, habits that you either successfully achieved or would like to break, big projects, little tasks, anything you can think of. It's great to be specific if you can. Don't worry about going overboard. Just think about what you've been able to do and write it down. It doesn't have to be in order. It doesn't have to be extra detailed, just quick notes about whatever you did the last week or few weeks. That's step one. Step two is to do the same thing for the next week or few weeks, if you have that planned out. Think about what you would like to do. And I'm, again, talking about appointments, to-do items, habits that you'd like to either make or break, basically everything that you must do or would like to do. Now, I don't only want you to include things that other people need or want you to do. Definitely, if you can, also include the things that you want to do, even for their own sake. Hobbies, uh, reading for pleasure, anything at all. If it's something that you want to do for any reason, put it on this list. So that's step two, your next few weeks. Step three is to categorize everything that you've written down into one of three buckets, either an appointment which is generally something that has to happen at a specific time and a specific place. The second category is a task, and that's something that generally doesn't have a specific time or place, although it might have a due date. It's just something that needs to get done at some point. And the third category is a habit, something that you want to do on a regular basis, very often for self-improvement, although not always. Once you finish that, you can move on to step four, which is to prioritize each item. Now remember, you're looking both backward in time and forward in time. So for what's already done, think about how it truly should have been prioritized. Not maybe how you thought of it at first, but having finished it, where did it really belong? And then do the same thing for the items in the future. Again, you'll use one of three priorities. One will be critical, which means if it doesn't happen, something very bad would result. Two is gonna be normal, which means it's probably kind of important, but it might be possible to move it or in some rare cases, skip it without negative consequences. And the third priority is trivial, which means if it doesn't happen now or ever, probably nobody will care, including you. So this week is all about noticing things and paying attention to how your time is being spent. You don't have to worry about changing your schedule at all or adding or removing. You're just taking note of everything that is currently 
eating up your time. And as I mentioned before, make sure you include everything that you want to do, even if it's just for yourself, even if there's not a really good reason you can articulate. If you want to make it happen, put it on the list. Now, as you go through, especially the prioritizing step, try to be as honest as you can with yourself. Don't pretend something is more important than it really is. And equally, don't pretend that something is less important than it really is. Think about what would truly result if this task didn't get done or this appointment never happened. Would it create a real problem? Would it make somebody sad? Would you be disappointed? Would you be bored? Would you be relieved? Just try to get a feel for where your time is going and how important the things are that you're spending it on. So quick review of Tidy24 Tasks Month, week one. Your goal is to clarify your commitments. That means considering the past week or few weeks, noting everything that you've done, considering the future week or few weeks, noting everything that you would like to do, categorizing each item you've written down as either an appointment, a task, or a habit, and finally, prioritizing each item you've written down as either critical, normal, or trivial. Have fun with this one, and I'll see you next week.